I want to talk about different aspects of this storm. I want to get to my colleague right now, Vanessa Murdoch, who's in Tenafly. Why don't you take it away from there, Vanessa? All right. Well, at least I'm not getting blown away, right, Lonnie? I mean, we know in places winds are gusting 45 miles per hour, plus blowing the snow into drifts. This drift behind me, man made one. But you can just imagine how enormous these piles of snow are going to get. I want to talk more about the winds now. If you take the gander over to my left, we're showing you the American flag blowing in the wind here. Gusts where I'm standing in Tenafly, New Jersey, only up to about 22 miles per hour. Elsewhere, though, we're seeing gusts in excess of 40 miles per hour, and certainly that's going to cause other problems in addition to just snow piling up. First, want to focus in on the power outages. We're going to take a look at the graphics, show you what you can expect from this storm. We do anticipate on the east end of Long Island, the most likely place we'll see some moderate power outages, maybe even through the lower Hudson Valley. In addition to power outages, we know coastal flooding is a big concern. It's been seen on the Jersey Shore already today across Long Island as well. One to two and a half feet, maybe as much as three feet of water being pushed over land by these powerful northeast winds. Please be extra cautious if you live in our coastal communities tonight with minor to major coastal flooding possible. And we know this is not a short lived storm. It's already been snowing for nearly 24 hours, and we don't expect snow to completely wrap up until tomorrow. If that, if we don't see some snow showers beyond. So please keep in mind this winter storm warning remains in effect through tomorrow. We're live in Tenafly, New Jersey with the Mobile Weather Lab. Back to you now, Christine and Maurice. Good reminder. Thank you, Vanessa. Across